Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then drag the horizontal guide downwards at 2.25 units as shown. Add another horizontal guide and then place it at 0.75 units. In other words, the difference between any two horizontal guides must be 1.5 units. Similarly, create two more horizontal guides and then place them at a distance of 1.5 units. So these four horizontal guides will be the reference lines to place our design elements. Now right click and then choose format background. Change the background to solid dark grey color. Next go to insert tab and draw a triangle shape to cover the entire slide area. Remove its outline and then change its fill color to light grey. Right click and then send it to back. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape. Align it along vertical and first horizontal guide as shown. Remove its outline and now drag this rectangle shape holding down control key to create the duplicates. Place each of these duplicate shapes on remaining horizontal guides along the vertical axis as shown. We can also drag the shapes holding down control and shift keys to create the duplicates. Now select all the rectangle shapes holding down control key and create another set of duplicates using control plus D. Change their fill colors, align them over original rectangle shapes and then group them together. Next go to selection pane and then hide this entire group of rectangles. We will make use of these rectangles later in our design. Now select all the rectangle shapes. Remember there are total of 5 shapes and then subtract them together. Next, again go to selection pane and unhide all this group of rectangles. Finally, ungroup them together. Now go to insert tab and draw a circle shape holding down control and shift keys. And this circle must be along the vertical axis and along the center axis of first rectangle shape. Make it no fill and then format the outline with 6 step linear gradient. Change all the stop colors in sequence of white and black color and adjust the stop positions until we get desired effect. Now drag the circle shape holding down control and shift keys to create the duplicates and place them at each rectangle shape along the vertical axis. Next go to insert tab and draw another circle at the end of first rectangle shape. Remove its outline and then format it with two step linear gradient. Adjust the stop positions, change the gradient direction and stop colors using eyedropper tool.
Now drag this circle shape holding down control key and place them at the end of each rectangle shape. Make sure to change their gradient colors. Next select all the rectangle shapes holding down control key and slightly increase their height. Match their fill color with the background color so that they become invisible. Now group each rectangle shape with the circle at their end so that we can animate both the shapes together. Select all the middle circles and bring them to front. Finally, add all the text fields onto our design. Select all the heading text, match their font color with the background and then send them to back. Now we will jump into the animation portion. As usual, let's first enable the animation pane and select the first group of rectangle and circle shapes and then apply line motion path animation. Now holding the end animation point, drag this position to the center of the circle along the vertical axis as shown. Reduce the duration to 1 second and apply end bounce effect of 0.4 seconds. Next select the center circle shape. Apply zoom animation and start it after previous. Now go to add animation option and apply spin animation to same circle. Start it with previous and reduce the duration to 0.5 seconds. So the circle shape will have two animations, both animating at the same time. Finally, select the text field. Apply zoom animation and start it after previous. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Now making use of animation painter, apply same line motion animation to second group of shapes. Holding down end animation point, drag it along the vertical axis and centrally to second circle shape. Again making use of animation painter, apply the animation of circle and text field to second group of shapes. Similarly, making use of animation painter, apply same set of animations to similar group of shapes.
finally select all the center circles holding down control key and slightly increase their size by dragging it holding down control and shift keys that looks perfect so here is the final preview of animation Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.